Hey, morning, guys. Um, I'm coming to you about a couple of things. First things first. Um, everybody's been asking me about the haircut. I told y'all that I just got up and cut it. And it was kind of fucked up. Then I grabbed it and I cut the wrist all off. Went to the barbershop and got it all lined up and shit. Okay, told y'all that already. Um, I'm so over this haircut. When I say I'm so over this fucking haircut, this haircut now, I'm so over this shit. This is like so 2011. I'm like, I want some hair. And everybody's like, well, why don't you, you know, wash and go. My hair don't wash and go. My hair don't curl. It don't do nothing. You know, it don't do nothing extra. And I was going to color it because I got so many grays in it. And I didn't color it is because my scalp has been hurting. Y'all know I'm extremely tender-headed and my scalp is always fucking hurting. But I met this old lady and she was like, get you some Glover's Mane, some Suffer 8. Show me Glover's Mane, Suffer 8, Blue Store Ointment, Tea Tree Oil. I forgot this shit. In a, it's a white bottle, green writing, and it got a sprout on it. I forgot the name of the shit. Put a couple of drops of that in there. She said, just gave me a list of shit to put in my hair. And she was like, your scalp will not hurt. This is the first time I could, like, you know, do my scalp like this. And it's not fucking tight like I got on five hats and a swim cap and a rubber band. Um, Miss Ian... Miss E N T F M I S S E N T F had sent me some videos from Sunshine Loves Peace. Another lady, check her out. Um, she does a lot of natural hair videos, and her hair is short like mine, but her hair is more like my sister. She got like a whole bunch of strings of hair, and it's all laying down and curly and shit. And she got some good baggy methods. I tried them. They just, I don't know. My hair, I don't know. Even. I don't know. You know, people like, well, you have to find out what your hair likes. I just, I don't feel like it. You know, so I just don't want to know what the fuck it like. And it sound really retorted, but I get sick of buying shit. I got everything you could think of, like, up under my fucking sink. I'm like, I'm not spending no more money on no more Giovanni. I'm not ordering nothing. I, I don't want to order nothing else. I just don't want to buy nothing else. I don't want to order nothing else. I went to Walgreens and got that. Damn organic shit. It, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I just don't want to order nothing else. But I said that the YMCA that I was going to does not have a daycare. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with my baby while I go to the YMCA. Because this is the perfect hair for sauna. This is the perfect hair for the steam room. But... Um, I gotta find me a goddamn babysitter so I can be going and getting in the steam room and in the sauna. That was my favorite part of the YMCA. Um, getting in the steam room and in the sauna. I wanna also, um, oh, I told y'all that I was officially Boom Boom Belinda. I had got up to 200 pounds. Um, I'm at 195 now, but I'm like 195. I'm like a heavyweight motherfucking boxer size and shit. Not fucking cool. Hold on. Okay, that's three minutes. Not motherfucking cool. So I was like, I need to go. Okay. I need to go and do something about this shit here. Because I remember, do y'all remember a year ago, I was like, I got this boyfriend, but I got to make sure he don't fuck up my shape. Screwing, booing, and chewing. All the fuck I've been doing all motherfucking year. My ass is so wide. I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to let y'all see. Because I, I don't know. I got a coupon book, that entertainment book my son was selling at his school. Make sure y'all go out and get one because, I mean, y'all going to get y'all money's worth. They got like three coupons for Foot Locker and they $15 off. That's $45 right there. They had a free coupon, no purchase. Just go and get you a free coffee, frappe, or a smoothie. I got a smoothie. Free with no purchase. In the beginning of the book, they got like different $5 gift certificates. In the beginning of the book, no purchase necessary. They got coupons for everything. And now... I've got, like, my friend, Queen Natural Beauty. Go check her out. Queen Natural Beauty. She's like a fucking extreme couponist motherfucker. And now she got me going, if I can't get it for a discount, if I can't get it for free, I don't really want to buy it type shit. Oh, I got something else to tell y'all about, too. I'm not going to tell y'all that. i wait till the end of the month to tell y'all that. 
Yeah. Okay. And um, I'm talking about my hair. I don't know. I don't know. I have a nice shaped head. I don't know if y'all know my sister, Janelle Danae. Ever since I was little, she was about seven or eight. She was about seven or eight, so I had to be like 17 or 18 when I first cut my hair. And she was like, when I get grown, I'm going to wear my hair just like that. I was like, uh-huh. And for real, she wears her hair just like this. But her hair be all laying all down, and it's silky, and she got a whole bunch of waves and shit in it. And she be brushing it. It's super cute. This shit here, I need some a swoop or something. I, I'm, I'm missing some hair or something. But it's been convenient because I get up in the morning, and I just kind of brush and go. But it be like crispy, like... Chicken cracklings crispy. It stay dry. I, I can put a bunch of shit in in the morning. It could be all over my hands. And then even the time I do this, the motherfucker is dry. It's super duper extra super duper dry. I can't keep it moist. It just I'm gonna have to get a curl or some shit. It don't stay moist. But the only time my scalp didn't hurt is when I have a perm or a curl. Only time in my whole life when my scalp didn't hurt. I had a perm or curl. And that's a lot of times I would be natural and I would just get a perm just so my motherfucking scalp would stop her. So this mix that this lady gave me, hopefully, you know, it'll kill me. I don't know how long I'm going to keep my hair like this. Everybody's like, I really love it on you and da 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 Except this one boy, he said I look like a butch lesbo. What the fuck? And, um, that. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know how I'm going to keep it. Everybody's been asking me what my boyfriend say. When my boyfriend and I first got together, I used to change my hair a lot. And he was like, I like all your hairstyles. Only thing I ask you to do is not to fuck cut it off. I was like, okay. And he was like, okay. We never talked about it again. So when I got from the hairdresser, I said, what you doing? He said, nothing. I said, I'm going to come pick you up. I picked him up, me and my daughter. And my daughter was like, you see my mama hair? And he was like, yep. Yeah. You like my mama hair? And he was like, mm-hmm. And I was like, thank you, babe. And he was like, you welcome. He never said nothing else about it. I ain't never said nothing else about it. So, it's not a, a, a real issue. Um, I made a couple of videos in the past about relationships and hair. I feel like, you know, Miss ENTF. Miss ENTF. Her name states. I keep fucking up the, the letters. But she made a video about... You know, these natural hair girls. I don't give a fuck if my boyfriend don't like my hair. And he ain't got a... She's pretty much like, you know, like me with that shit. If I have a boyfriend, I'm in a relationship, and I want to go and get something done to my hair, it's my fucking head, I'm going to get it. But even if my boyfriend say, you know what, I like your hair when it was spiked up. You're going to keep that in the back of your mind because you do want to look good for your person, whoever your person is. You know what I'm saying? Even when guys get, when like if he get his hair cut, he got the whole little thing going on. I like this, the little... Ugh, Rick Ross thing going on. And I like it. And I love when he go get his little mustache. And I say, bae, I like when you do your little mustache like this. So he get the mustache the way I like it because he want to make me go, damn, baby, I like that. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't do it to be spiteful. He know I was, because he said, what you do? I said, I just get in the mirror, come on. He was like, why? I was like, I don't know. And he was like, oh, okay. You know, he went like, Ugh, what the fuck? He was just like, okay, because I think he's kind of came to the conclusion that I'm I'm an Aquarius and I'm left-handed. That's a lot to deal with. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what even fucking side of my brain is operating. I don't know what I'm going to do from day to day. I may get in the corner and be like, let's go to California. You know, one day I got home, the kids got home from school. I was like, we finna go to Memphis. My son was like, finna go to Memphis. When? I said, right now. Go in the house right now and get you a yo do rag. I told my daughter to get her hair scuff, get you a pair of underwear and a toothbrush. We'll buy other shit when we get there. We finna go to Memphis. We just jumped in the car and went to Memphis. So y'all be talking about kind of shit. Just rambling on. But yeah, thanks everybody for the encouraging words about this hair. I'm about sick of it, so I don't know what I'm gonna do to it, but it's been cool rubbing my hands through it. Something else I want to talk to y'all about. I'm gonna come right back at you. Bye.